So I'm really excited and I wanted to make another video because I've just been messing around with Unreal Engine 5's Preview 2 and it looks like there's a really small but powerful fix to the path tracer. So we're here in Unreal Engine 5 and I'm going to demonstrate to you the long-standing issue that's been in Unreal Engine in general for a while to do with translucency and depth of field. So this is a brand new project in Unreal Engine 5 with the standard setup and I'm just in the Cine Camera Actor view mode and I've got path tracing turned on. So I'm going to zoom over here to the uh, little glass ornament that they have in every project and I'm just going to focus up on it to demonstrate the problem. And here it is. So you can see the bottom part of this model is in focus as it should be, but the top part inherits the depth of field from the closest object behind it. And in this case, that is the far distance. So it is completely out of focus. So how do we get around this? Well, Generally, I've had problems in every version of Unreal up until this point with this system. And it's one of the reasons I started using Octane Render because it didn't have this problem. The translucent material doesn't render to the depth buffer, basically. So it doesn't know where it is. So even this bottom section is actually inheriting the depth of field from the table. That's why it's in focus. Now, in the post-process volume, you can scroll down now to your path tracer settings, which I'm gonna do now. Here we are. So in the path tracing settings, there's a new box to tick. Reference depth of field. Turn it on. Yay! So now it can see where this object is in path tracing, which is incredible for virtual production people like us, because it means if we want to bring in actors on translucent planes, we can actually focus on our actors now. This is a really, really big deal. Uh, and it hadn't been possible in path tracing or ray tracing. So this is incredible. And I really can't wait to give it a go with some actual footage. Now, there is another fix, but I want to give a shout out to some help that I received from Will Fauché uh, when it comes to things like rendering and materials. He's really incredible and an excellent YouTuber. I thoroughly recommend you check out his channel if you haven't already. But it regards a fix for this issue with translucency in the ray tracing mode. So I'm going to run through that now as well. So I've switched over to the normal lighting mode. I'm in ray tracing at the moment, so the ornament's gone back to its default in and out of focus weirdness. So the fix is to duplicate the object, which I have done here. I've got statue two, which is basically in the exact same position in the scene as the normal statue, but I have changed the material. This is the material setup. It is now an opaque material so I've just set the base color to black. Um, we don't really need the specular and we don't need an opacity, but we've set pixel depth offset to one and we can close that. So we've come out of the material. You'll notice my statue is currently toggled off in the world outliner. So we'll toggle it on and the issue is almost fixed. Actually, you can still see that material through the glass a little bit. So we actually just need to uh, scroll down in the details panel to the visible in ray tracing checkbox, which is right here. And we need to toggle that off to make sure that we can see correctly the right refractions through this glass. Thank you, Will, for that tip. 